Hello everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading. I hope you are well. This is Andrea from Truth Well Told Tarot and I'm here to do your daily reading for all signs. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for the day. So we have focus on family. I have the cards on the table, so I'm going to do an Archangel Michael message as well. What do we have for the day? Thank you. We have number two, angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. All right, let's pull some cards, see what we have. What do we have? What do we have for the day? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for the day. What do we have for the day? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for the day. We have the Eight of Cups as the overarching energy, the Lovers, the Star. The Tower, my goodness, the Ten of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. The Death card and the Nine of Wands. Someone's giving up. That's the energy here. We have the Eight of Cups. Why do we walk away? Why do we turn our back on situations? Because it's time to take action. And intuitively, we know that. Intuitively, there is that feeling here that we're turning the back here with the Eight of Cups on a situation because it's not fulfilling for whatever reason. Eight of Cups can be about hurt, disappointment, letdowns, pain. You know, and turning your back on something that you hoped would be more, but isn't. And this is the realization and acceptance that it's not working and it's time to move on. Sometimes the Eight of Cups can be, it's just time. This isn't for me. This isn't my Nine of Cups. This isn't my wish coming true. So whatever the scenario is, it's about putting on that red cloak, putting on the red boots like this person does and taking action, taking empowered action to go in search of that which brings you greater happiness, fulfillment and joy. Realizing that the time we spend with people is never wasted. In fact, we learn from this kind of experience. We learn what's not working for us. We, look, we learn what, we, what, we, what we're not looking for. Um, you know, and that kind of hones us in to even be more effective in when we move forward on getting greater happiness and fulfillment because we understand through experience what doesn't work for us, what we're not going to put up with, what we're not looking for now. So it's never wasted. It's never wasted on that journey of going in search of greater happiness and fulfillment and walking away. The lovers and the ten of swords, it represents an ending. The lovers is two people who choose to be together. They feel they are a powerful union. There is a choice or a decision here in terms of whether to end something or not. I feel 
there is a scenario here that's been brought to a crossroads and the the choice about a relationship now may well hang in the balance because someone has gone through hurt felt like they were being you know stabbed in the back betrayed deeply wounded deeply hurt and this may be bringing a person to decide to end something it's just a real strong energy of endings in this reading because that's when they see the new light you know the new light comes in when we end painful experiences it doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy but we are in our truth a lot of the time that we realize we're not exposing ourselves to being hurt let down betrayed wounded anymore and the realization of that brings a completion but as we bring, well, as we do that as we choose to end something that new light comes in we feel that sense of release we we feel finally the clouds are lifting and the new dawn is rising in the distance and that's the energy here and that's what this person is feeling walking away well it's not easy to end this there is a choice or decision to make in terms of whether i end this or not but it's whether I want to keep on going through the experience that I'm going through and let that continue or not. And this is the energy here. Five of Swords and the Star. Sometimes, again, Five of Swords, this energy is, is conflict. This energy is... You know, dealing with somebody who does what they want to do and disrespects, disregards you, conflict of some kind. And we sometimes realize that it's just not worth it. We choose to remove ourselves from a situation and move in a direction of where we see hope, where we see new light, where we see new healing, where we see a new direction unfolding, where there are possibilities of greater happiness and wish fulfillment. We can go in search of that. But sometimes we have to kind of remove ourselves from a current circumstance that's not working for us. Could be a hurtful experience here. And the Tower, the Nine of Wands, this is just that feeling here of just when I think everything is fine, I'm tested again, you know, and I'm tired and I'm fed up. And it just feels like with the tower, something coming to light. It can be a truth, revelation, an event that happens, someone's actions that brings a tower crumbling down. Both of these cards can be linked with change and endings. Now, this can also be, I'm tired. It might well be something happens and it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. And there's resolution here in terms of you're ending something, you're walking away because it's not serving your highest good as well. So the death card is out with the old and with the new, it is an ending. This can be, I'm ending it, I'm letting it all fall down. I don't want to keep on fighting the battle. I don't want to keep on being tested. I don't want to keep on like moving on a path that is more difficult, you know, is burdensome is challenging you know and it never seems to, i never seem to get to the end of it we never seem to get over the issue it always keeps on you know cropping up you know so it just feels like this just feels like bringing something to a major major completion and walking away now this could affect family it might also be your family or you're going to stay with family you're going to go and be supported by family as well it could well be your family have been saying, might be, might be pleased that this is finally ending because maybe this relationship, they, they didn't like the other person. For you, they thought you deserved better. Which, you know, I have to say in this reading, it just feels like a very, very difficult testing time. It feels like you've been walking a very difficult testing path. And all of a sudden, that kind of the realization, the rose-tinted glasses are coming off and you're just kind of like, yeah... I know I need to remove myself from this person because I, I see new optimism, new light. 
in in a different direction, walking away, and I'm going to go in search of greater happiness and fulfillment, fully realizing that you take the lessons and realize what's not working for you now. You understand what what you're not looking for now, what you're not going to accept, you know. And in that moment, spirit is telling you by realizing that you're actually going in search of the nine of cups. Chronologically, the nine of cups comes after the eight. It's the next stop on the journey. So <laughs> this is the energy here. It feels like there is greater happiness and abundance by realizing what's not working for you now. So embrace healing. I'm going to pull you an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card. Let's see what we have for the day. I've got them on the table, so let's do that. What do we have for the day? Thank you. Oh, lovely. The sun. It's coming out. Definitely coming out there. This just feels like yeah, it's, it's almost like spirit telling you it's all going to be okay. Let me just uh, find the sun. Bear with me. We have enjoy success and happiness. Know that doors are opening for you. Follow new projects, ventures and ideas. Connect with the inner fire that is driving you forward. You are being surrounded by the brightness of the sun at this time. Opportunities to feel and be successful are swirling and dancing around you. Relationships and friendships progress with joy and you will feel happy and uplifted. If you're not somewhere bright and sunny right now, there will be other ways in which you can enjoy warmth and joy. Solar energy brings health and vitality and can energize and warm. And it also encourages you and everything to grow. The energy of expansion is with you at this time and you are being offered the perfect opportunity to move forward. If you want to bring something to life or are ready to take a new step in a relationship, the sun will bring the right energy to you. If you are asking a, qu asking a question, the answer is most definitely yes. 